there's this perception about me that I, that I think's out there uh, because of the way I approach things sometimes, how I say things, what I say, why I say them, when I say them, who I say them to, in what manner, um, that I'm not really a wrestling fan or that I don't really care for the wrestling business. And I can tell you, nothing could be further from the truth. I love professional wrestling. I always have. I'm 35 now. It's going to sound pathetic. I still talk about wrestling in my mid-30s, maybe. But maybe it's not. I've been a fan for well, literally over three decades now. Going back to the days of the beginning of Hulkamania. And the days of Jim Crockett Promotions. And when the AWA was still running somewhat strong. I've been a wrestling fan longer than a good portion of you watching have been alive. Yes, I've been watching wrestling a lot longer than a lot of you shits have even been on this planet. So who the fuck are you to tell me that I don't love professional wrestling? Suck my big black dick, bitches. Kiss my ass. Sometimes what I will say, and a lot of you should hopefully know this, and not just because of the affections you maybe feel for your right hand, or if you're ambidextrous, maybe your left hand too. Love makes you do and say crazy, stupid, idiotic things. Such is life. Love can make us feel all types of ways and act all types of crazy ways. Ever wonder how that works? Look at a woman. That's all you need to know. I love professional wrestling. It's in my blood, it's in my soul. And while a lot of you come on social media and the interwebs and talk about professional wrestling, you're the same cowards that will sit there and tuck your tail between your legs when you hear people dissing on professional wrestling or talking shit about professional wrestling or making fun of professional wrestling and or just trying to generally distance yourself from professional wrestling. Now, in the past, I would have knocked you a lot more for it, but frankly, based off of the state of the WWE and the business as a whole, I really can't freaking blame you, but I'm the same guy that will loudly and proudly exclaim that he's a wrestling fan and doesn't give a fuck who cares to know about it. I don't give a shit. All these idiots watching Keeping Up with the Kardashian cum dump sluts and Real Housewives of I'm a Gold Digging Bitch County, they ain't got no place to talk, no room to talk. Oh, I love The Walking Dead. How many seasons of shit about zombies and interpersonal battles do you fucking need to see before this shit gets old? The point being is, all these different people that shit on professional wrestling watch all types of stupid scripted television too. Reality shows, you name it, they fucking do it too. So they want to knock on the way that we're entertained, and we should be able to knock on the stupid-ass idiotic way that they are entertained, the shallow-ass way that they are entertained, because it is fucking stupid. I, even in its current state, I would still take professional wrestling over most forms of entertainment that are out there today. Because it has the potential to do so much more and be so much more captivating, entertaining, engaging, and enthralling than any of these other cum-dump slut shows you see out there throughout television land. It just frustrates me, though, to see what's happening with this business, with the WWE, to see how the people running the show, the people involved with the shows, the people working on the shows, have hijacked this business. And frankly, a lot of the fans have themselves tried to hijack this business. And all the while, everybody's kind of stuck in this bubble, this wrestling bubble, this bullshit bubble, if you will. So departed from reality, so out of touch, and yet so consumed with the righteousness of what they're doing. And the proof is in the pudding, ultimately. The numbers don't lie. And the numbers spell disaster for you. Because the wrestling business has been trending on a downward pattern for years, and it's not getting any better. And it seems like that fall off of the precipice of the cliff is only getting quicker by the moment. I mean, Jesus Christ... 
Look at this week's raw rating. It was a 1.88. 1.88, I think it was. It was under 2. And it was, I think, under a 1.9. I think it was a 1.88. I just want you to think about that for a second. 1.88. Less than 3 million viewers of Monday Night Raw. Only in the alternate universe and reality of WWE land could we try to still make excuses for and spin the positives on a company that has lost over 50% of its audience in the past 10 years, not even going back 15 or 20 freaking years. A 1.88. And I'm just wondering if the WWE's finally going to panic. Because you're getting to that point. If you didn't think it was already there, it's time to panic now. It really is a 1.88. Less than 3 million people watching Raw. Raw is almost doing the same rating and viewership as SmackDown now. And SmackDown is still the B show. It's still treated and presented as the B show. And your B show is damn near about to pass the A show. And not so much because of what the B show is doing. It's because of what the A show isn't doing. It's horrendous. Now, sure, there will be excuses. Oh, television has changed over the years. You know, people are cutting the cords, and people are doing this, and people are doing that. That's just some defeatism bullshit. So I can tell you this much, in the business world, if you lose over 50% of your customer base, or 50% of your audience, or your viewership, over a 5, 7, 10 year period, nobody's going to give a shit about the changing dynamics and landscapes of any fucking thing. That the bottom fucking line is, what are you not doing well? What needs to change? How does it need to be changed? And how are you going to get where you need to get and turn this shit around immediately? If not yesterday. This whole bullshit of, well, there's so many more choices. You know, Newsflash, 10 years ago, there were an awful lot of choices on television too. Hell, 15 years ago, there were tons of choices on television, cable, satellite. Maybe there are more now, but there were still a ton of them back then. You could say that overall television viewership is down. Maybe. But the WWE's drop in audience is in a much greater proportion than the overall drop in television viewership over the past decade. That is fact. This is astounding the number of excuses that will be given for this. Oh, well, you're going up against Monday Night Football. You can take that and blow it out your fucking ass. Because the viewership for the second Monday Night Football this game this year with the Rams and the 49ers was down 25% from the year before. Jesus. 25%? This is part of a bigger picture, a larger trend of the WWE, where the viewership continues to go down. I don't understand... Why the WWE continues to go in one direction with their product, which is appealing even more and more to their hardcore audience, which is further alienating more casual and mainstream viewers, continuing to lose viewership, and stubbornly digging their heels in, and trying to sell this as something good. Now, if this was being done with a bunch of big steroid dudes, so many of the hardcore fans would be shitting all over this. Because they're digging their heels in. They're not listening to the fans. They're not listening to the greater audience. Well, frankly, at the end of the day, the WWE, the problem is, is they're only listening to a hardcore audience. They're stubbornly digging their heels in, trying to get other people to care, and other people just fucking don't. For a wide plethora of reasons, all pertaining to the product, the talent, the creative vision of the company, what have you. A 1.88! This whole excuse of, well, they're going up against Monday Night Football. Over the past four years, in the same week, they're down a million and a half viewers. A million and a half viewers. Think about that. Going from like 4.1 or something million viewers to 2.68 million viewers. That's a million and a half. Close enough damn to it. In 
four years. They've lost over a million people. What happens four years from now when they lose another million? Because it's coming. It's going to happen. What happens when that 1.88 and about 2.6, 2.7 million viewers all of a sudden becomes a 1.2, 1.3 with 1.7 million viewers? I get that television ratings aren't the only thing that WWE cares about because they got their hands in so many other cookie jars with the WWE Network, the increase of the live events due to the brand split, what they do internationally. I understand all that plays in. And television is not the only piece of the pie. But it is still a predominant piece of the pie. And at some point in time, the USA Network is really going to start questioning why the fuck they're in this arrangement with the WWE? Because they signed on to that contract a couple of years ago for the television deal based off of expecting one rating, one level of audience, and the WWE consistently under-delivers to that expectation. How the hell are people not losing their jobs over this? How the hell is shit not getting blown up over this? How the hell is shit not dramatically changing due to this? When is it time to panic? Like I remember Vince Russo talked about it for years. A major changing point for the WWE back in 1997 was when they did a 1.9 rating. 1.9. Now mind you, if they did in 1997, just to give you an example, I know it's not relevant because I don't believe that particular rating was going against Monday Night Football, but let's say it was. Not only would that 1.9 have been going against Monday Night Football, which was airing on ABC back in 1997, which means Monday Night Football had a larger overall audience, WWE was also going against a higher-rated wrestling show running at the same time and WCW Nitro on Monday nights. So the WWE, 19 years ago, at its lowest point, at its... Come to Jesus moment. Still did a larger rating going up against a larger audience watching Monday Night Football and fucking WCW Nitro! You're at a 1.88. Everybody associated with this company. From the leadership to the talent to the creative team to the stage hands to everybody should be fucking ashamed and embarrassed. Because they're pathetic. How the fuck does this ever happen? You're not that goddamn far away from drawing what used to be considered a really good rating for impact on goddamn Spike TV. Four years from now, you lose another million and a half viewers. You're down to 1.1 million viewers. You're getting about a 1.0 rating. That's what impact used to average on Spike TV. And it's coming. And it's happening. Now I don't give a shit how much you've divested yourself in other places. Now I don't give a shit how many excuses the people all contained within that wrestling bubble try to spin on this. This is a fucking come to Jesus what the fuck panic moment. And there needs to be real substantive change now. I love this business. And for whatever reason, I still love the fucking WWE. And I don't want my kids' generation and future generations to be able to enjoy this shit. But all the knuckleheads involved are doing their damnedest to make it increasingly impossible for me to envision that happening 10, 15, 20 years down the goddamn road. So the WWE continues to lose their audience at the rate that they are. USA is not going to want to resign them. And even if they did, they're going to cut them so dramatically and drastically that the WWE can't sign on to the deal. Nobody else is going to want any fucking part of them. And what are you looking at? An impact wrestling product with a much larger overhead than TNA fucking has. And the same damn viewership and lack of relevance that Impact used to have on Spike TV. Laugh all you want. If I'd have told you in 2016 this company on a non-holiday weekend would have done a 1.88, you'd 
you know, laughed in my fucking face. Well, unfortunately, ha ha ha, motherfucker. Joke's on you. Because it happened. And don't sit there and get your little two-inch peckers all up in arms if next week they magically pull out a 1.98 or a 2.01. Because that ain't an indication of shit. You know, the WWE used to call themselves, what was it, Vince said, Cure for the Common Show. They used to call themselves Sports Entertainment. This company and its product now is a fucking disease. And they most certainly aren't sports entertainment. A 1.88! If this doesn't make everybody involved with, from fans to executives, everybody involved with professional wrestling, sit there and take a step back and say, whoa, what the fuck is going on here? And what the hell path are we taking this goddamn beloved business down? Then I don't know what the hell is going to get it down. And get it through everybody's thick fucking skulls that we have a problem here. 1.88! Five years from now, fucking Raw is going to be impact on USA. Unbelievable. It's time to panic.